What we're going to do to start is bring in the tool surface uh, for the part we're considering, which you can see here, and next bring in the virtual layup that was created by the VCP program in order to perform fiber placement on this. You'll see when we bring that in that the uh, tapes themselves are shown in yellow, the boundaries of the tapes are shown in orange, and the center lines of each course are shown in green. Now what we want to do is bring in the detected features of the layup as it was actually placed um, as developed by the uh, API system. These features do not take into account whether they're properly located or not. You'll see the ones closest to the left or the bottom are properly located. The ones a little higher up in the layup are mislocated intentionally. But in order to do the location analysis, we click on the feature. In this particular case, it's the edges of the tape that we're interested in. And what it's showing here are only those features that are out of tolerance. In this case, the tolerance is specified as one millimeter. If we change that to two millimeters, that means that more of those discrepant features will go away because we're loosening the tolerance. You can see it happens real time. And of course, the larger we make that tolerance, the fewer and fewer flaws that we will see in the layup as it was made. Now we can do the same thing with the ends of the toe, which are shown in orange. So when we click on that, you'll see we see the ends, uh, but only, in this case only those ends which are out of tolerance, which is defined as one millimeter. When we change that to two millimeters, you'll, know that this, you'll notice the center um, end goes away because that was within two millimeters of where it's supposed to be. Of course, as we continue to increase the tolerance to three millimeters, um, more and more of those features will be within tolerance. We still have one that's more than three millimeters. Now, of course, the purpose here is not to change what's defined as a flaw, but to show that the software can easily accommodate any tolerance the customer may specify.